Alright guys, England have just beaten Albania away from home in Albania uh, by two goals to nil and it was a decent performance from England it took a while for them to sort of wake up uh, but in, in the second half it, it was a really good performance Albania had a good chance uh, in the first half from a counter attack uh, Mason Mount lost the ball in uh, midfield and they counter attack well, uh, but they, they put the shot over the bar, uh, should have done better with it. And that was, there wasn't a lot that happened in the first half particularly, uh, but Harry Kane did score a really good goal, highlight of the half. Um, a brilliant cross from Luke Shaw, Harry Kane diving header and um, glanced into the far corner really well. And that made it 1-0 to England. Um, and then in the second half, um, there, there were a few chances for England. Uh, but Harry Kane laid it off Mason Mount really well. And Mason Mount sort of hit the ball into the ground and it's bobbled up and gone over the keeper. And that, that was game over, really. Um, so, yeah, I, I felt uh, all, pretty much all the players played well today. Um, Nick Pope did look a bit dodgy at times, um, when, especially with his distribution. He wasn't really tested um, in terms of uh, having to make saves, but his distribution wasn't great, to be honest. And I think we've known that about Pope, that is the weakness to his game. Um, it, it's the opposite for Jordan Pickford, obviously. Distribution is one, one of his best traits, uh, whereas shot-stopping... Not so much, and the the defense. The, the other thing is John Stones and Harry Maguire. Um, it it just doesn't feel like a good enough centre back pairing for me to for us to um, get like win the Euros. I. I it, it feels like we're missing a real leader. Like H Harry Maguire, he's, he's not a natural leader, is he? Um, John Stones, as we've seen this season, is good alongside a leader like Ruben Diaz at Man City or Vincent Company when he was at Man City. Re even when he was at Everton, he had Phil Jelka alongside him and obviously he, he's a leader. I, I'm, I'm not sure how good Harry Maguire is at that role. Um I, I think, uh, to be honest, the, the best bet we've got for a leader is probably either Tyrone Mings or Connor Cody. So what I, I would do is try try playing John Stones alongside either Mings or Connor Cody. Uh, I think that's probably the best bet for Gareth Southgate. Um, sure, obviously, he's having a great season. Uh, he had a great game today. Uh, Kyle Walker... You know what you're getting with him, really, don't you? Uh, he can be a bit dodgy defensively sometimes, but um, what helps him is obviously his lightning speed. Um, midfield, Declan Rice, Calvin Phillips had a fairly easy game today. Uh, and in the attack, Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, Mason Mount, Harry Kane all had a, a good game. Um and the, at one point, there was one point where the commentator did say Harry Kane is the best centre forward in the world. He, I mean, he's up there. He's definitely top five, but the best. Um, I think Robert Lewandowski would want a word. Same with Erling Brett Haaland, uh, Kylian Mbappe as well, now playing centre forward. Uh, there's a few players that I would probably put just ahead of Harry Kane right now. Uh, but on his day, yeah, he is he is one of the best, isn't he? Um, and what else is there uh, in the game? I can't think, really think of much else. Um, Albania, they, they were a bit... They, they, they didn't look like a team that we're going to play it like the Euros but then again at the at the World Cup England played uh, Panama and Tunisia and they hardly looked like um, world beaters did they um, so I, I don't I don't think Albania are going to get to the Euros if I'm honest um, 
the, obviously, we've got one more game in the international break. Uh, that's next week against Poland at, at Wembley. Uh, so that should be a, more of a test for England than today. Although today, Albania were better opposition than San Marino. Like, in the, is, is there even any point watching England v San Marino? It's just a case of how many, isn't it? Um, I'm not even sure if San Marino have ever scored a goal against us. Um, it, 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 like, you, halfway through that game, you just hear the commentator going on about, oh, this player, he's a part-time plumber when he's not playing semi-pro football. There's just no point, is there, really? They may as well get Vatican City in as well. Or Luxembourg. Well, actually, Luxembourg do have a, a national team. That's a bit harsh. Um, but, yeah, uh, good performance by England. That's basically all I've got to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.